And I'm telling you that I'm just not going to take it anymore. I've had it. I'm telling you the disrespect. All right? I don't have to take this kind of crap. I'm a big star now. Oh, we're on. Hey, how are you? Ed the Sock here on Much Music. Hey, everybody. Ask me how I am. How are you? I'm pissed off. You know what? You know what my day was like? I wake up. I get out of bed, try to figure out exactly whose bed I was in. I uh, get dressed. I come downtown. Figure I just come, come down to the building, check my mail. I show up, and Marnie says, oh, by the way, you're on at 4. I'm not supposed to be on the air today. Whose stupid idea was this? What do you think? I'm at your beck and call 24 hours a day? I got nothing else to do like Diego? You want me to just hang out here all the time? Uh, huh? Huh? Why don't you go dig up Michael Williams? I bet he'd be glad to be here anytime you wanted him. Anytime you want him. Why don't you just get me a bunk upstairs with one of those fireman's poles? So anytime, you know, anytime somebody else takes, you can just have me slide down the pole. So we're calling Tanya, who's the scheduler for, the, for all this stuff. She's in Ottawa with Edgefest. I want to talk to her. Let's Hello? Tanya, it's Ed. I'm on the air. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, you know where I am? Where? I'm on the air. You know where I'm supposed to be? Where? Not on the air! Why? We talked on Tuesday, remember? Next Wednesday and the 17th. Nothing about Saturday. Oh, come on. Nothing. Not a word. Yeah, you look at your schedule. Yeah, I told you I didn't have a schedule. That's why I called you. Listen, you gotta start uh, paying attention. Here. Hey, you didn't... Did you send me the schedule? Is there even one in my mailbox? Yeah, yeah? No, there's not one Maybe? in my mailbox. Maybe it's on your desk. No, I don't have a desk. Oh, uh, uh, that's too right. That's okay, right. I called you Tuesday. What did we talk about Tuesday? I'm gonna do Wednesday, and then I'm gonna do the 17th. Nothing about the 3rd. You're lucky I didn't happen to show up. What kind of disrespect is that? You figure I can just be here at a moment's notice whenever well, you want sure me? I'm sure I put it on your desk. You know what? Can you talk to Rachel for a minute? All right. Hello? Rachel? Hello? Rachel, it's Ed. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. You know what they did to me? What? They just, like, scheduled me without telling me, and I showed up by accident, and here I am on the air. I'm not even dressed for it. You're not even dressed? Can you imagine what kind of disrespect that is? Well, they ever done just... that to you? Um, yeah, I've shown up for work not dressed before. That's not what I meant. I know I've seen you. Oh, yeah. They did that to me on my birthday. Yeah, when I saw you. you couldn't show up for work. I saw your birthday suit. You know what, Rachel? I shouldn't be... I'm not mad at you, though. I'm not mad at you. You're just another another lackey like me that they treat like a dog. Well, they treat us like dogs, don't they, Rachel? Well, not me. Maybe you. Oh, <laughs> Rachel. Careful with the brown nosing. You'll get it on your cheek. Hey, hey, look, I'm, I'm hobnobbing with the big shots here at Edgefest right now. There's so. no big shots at Edgefest. Yeah, I was yeah. there Thursday. Who you hobnobbing with? Um, we got some people here from Gob. Say hi. Gob? Hi. Hey, how are you, Gob guys? This is Theo. Yeah, I remember we met before, Gob guys. Yeah, I didn't have a chance last time to kick your sock, but... Oh, yeah, you're real brave trying to do it now from Ottawa. <laughs> Why don't you come over here, Gob guy? I'm in just the kind of mood for you right now. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm busy right now, though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're real busy. Enjoy the fame while it lasts. Now, give me back to Tanya. <laughs> yeah, Tanya. Oh, Tanya. Ed, Ed. Listen, enough of this crap. If you want me to do this thing, you've got to call me in advance, tell me I'm on Saturday. Ed, baby. Who's this? Do you know who this is? No. This is your girl, Sharon, from Len. Who? Sharon. From the band Len. Lem? Len. Len. Yeah, Len. Yeah, well, that's right. I remember you. You do? Who the hell are you again? From the, from the other night? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember anything past, like, uh, yesterday. <laughs> Clean that crust off your sock, Ed. Yeah, all right. Listen, uh, I'm in a bad mood, so now's not a good time. All right. By the way, I have that extra earring that you lost. You got what? That earring you left under my pillow. I have it for you. Ed, you sexy thing. Yeah, all right. Thanks. All right, Tanya? Ed? Who, okay, enough. Hang up the phone. Oh, okay. Well, have a good time. Who is this? It's Rachel. Rachel, you tell Tanya she's a coward, and when she comes back, she should open her drawer. I'm going to leave her a little present, and it may get a little gamey in there by the time she gets back. Uh, I'll let her know. It looks like a Hershey bar, and it's got nuts in it. Uh, hey. All hey. right, thanks, Rachel. You have a good time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. All right, uh, while well, I continue to vent, let's call Bill, okay, for the next throw, see if he'll come in and do this. I got things to do. Um, we're going to go to a video by another guy who gets a little uh, short-tempered sometimes, uh, Pop Daddy, who recently beat the crap out of the manager of Nas because 
He shot this video where he was on a cross and then was surprised when it showed up somewhere. I guess he thought he was just doing a neat party game when he shot it. And uh, is this is a new video? Yeah. What's it called? Spin around the whole not new. Oh, oh, it's an old one. You can't even give me new videos for crying out loud. Here's... New video Wednesday, July 8th. New video Wednesday, July 8th. I don't give a damn. Just run the damn thing.